Yo, what is good, my people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rum. So, the Jordan 1s. We have so many different types of Jordan 1s. Jordan 1 lows, Jordan 1 highs, Jordan 1 mids. We have the OGs, we have the 85s, but we also have the Element Gore-Tex as well. I have one of the latest colorways on the channel today. This is the Light Bordeaux or the Berry colorway. Let's check these out in this video. I hope everything is good with you. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this sneaker. This is the light Bordeaux or the berry colorway. Jordan 1, this is the Element Gore-Tex. I'll be looking at the sneaker in more detail, checking out the design, the materials used. We'll be looking at sizing. We'll be looking at comfort. I'll also be talking about the resale value on the shoe at the moment. And of course, I'll be giving you that on feet look as well. So make sure you watch the entire video for that. Let's get straight into the review. So as you know, the Jordan 1 is one of my favorite sneakers from Nike. I do like the Jordan 1s. They look really, really good on feet. Sometimes they can be uncomfortable, but you have to go a half a size up to make the comfort even better. Funnily enough, this is the first time I've actually picked up a pair of these Element 1 Gore-Tex type sneaker and I haven't really seen anything quite like this before. It has some really, really nice material. So this is a shoe that is built to go anywhere, any weather, any season of the year. You can definitely rock these and it will definitely keep your feet dry. Really impressed. A couple of days ago, we had these sneakers drop in the UK and the retail price was £165 which is slightly more than what you would pay for a normal OG type Jordan 1 and that is to do with the materials. When it comes to the actual drop of the shoe, I grabbed my pair from the sneakers app which is a really rare sneakers win for me. I was really surprised when I actually did win it because I really did want the shoe. This colorway is absolutely incredible. I really do like the purple and the, this gray type color with the black underlays as well really 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 cool when it comes to the actual release as i said i only saw these on the sneakers app i didn't really see them anywhere else and that kind of gives me the impression that this shoe was a little bit limited as well as i mentioned the materials on this shoe are pretty dope when you look at this shoe it does look and feel amazing the overlays of the shoe are done in this nice new buck in the berry colorway so the mud guard the eyelids the the eyelids, the collar, the back of the shoe as well is done in that really, really nice new buck. Feels very, very soft and premium. It feels like it's very durable as well. When you look at the underlays of the shoe, so the side panel and the toe box that is done in this ripstop material, which is also waterproof and ripproof. So it feels like it is going to last for a long time. This is a shoe that you can wear anywhere, as I said before. When you look at the midsole, the midsole is done in this off-white type color, which I think is pretty nice and matches the shoe. The bottom of the shoe is done in this lighter shade of purple, and it does have these hints of black going through it. And it's the same at the front as well, which I think is pretty cool. Look at the laces, you do get your usual Jordan 1 laces, which I think are really good, matches the shoe very well. I just think the combination of black this berry colorway and that gray type colorway for the side panel really does really work for this shoe. So all in all, it's a thumbs up from me. And I have to say this berry colorway on this shoe, Bordeaux type colorway is absolutely incredible. I think purple on the Jordan 1, you can't really go wrong with that. It's just a great, great shoe to look at. So that brings us on to sizing. And when it comes to sizing, I always would recommend going through the size for a Jordan 1. And that is because they kind of fit really well when you go through to size. So me, I like it a little bit more room in my Jordan 1s and I think that maximizes comfort for me. So what I tend to do is go a little bit of a half a size up and that makes the shoe fits a little bit better for me. But generally, I would say go true to size when it comes to the Jordan 1s. So that brings us on to resale. And even though these sneakers were pretty limited, I, I did not see them anywhere else apart from the sneakers app. I do not expect these sneakers to resell for any crazy numbers. Currently they're reselling for around 200 to around 250 in most sizes. And I do expect a small dip when it comes to these shoes. I do see them going down slightly, then going back up to around that 200 to 250. Uh, this is a shoe that I definitely wouldn't invest in. I think this is one I really wanted because of the colorway. The colorway on this is pretty nice and I expect the smaller sizes to be reselling on the higher end of that 250 scale as well. So this is definitely one not to invest in for me, but it's one for the personal collection. But if I was to invest, I'll definitely go for the smaller sizes because I expect those to do better than the bigger sizes. Some final thoughts on these. These are 
pretty much one of the nicest Jordan 1 colorways I've seen in a very, very long time. I do like this colorway a lot, and I do love the elements of the shoe that are rip proof and waterproof as well. So this is kind of a no brainer for me to get a pair of these. It's the first time I've actually got a pair of these and for me it is 100% must cop. Can't go wrong with having a pair of a go anywhere, any type of weather, any rain, snow type of Jordan 1 in the collection. You have to have it for me. Definitely a must cop. Yes, my people, that is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it and find information useful. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. The on-feed portion of the video Coming now.